All right. Yeah. All right, we'll call this meeting of the City Council to order. It is 5.30, April 1st, 2022. First item is Pledge Allegiance to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everybody. First item on the agenda is to do roll call. Please note that all members of the council are present. Um, first item would be to um, approve the agenda. We do have uh, two um, additions. One would be a resolution for the Minnesota Department of Transportation for the airport improvement grant. And the second would be for a land use and legislation recommendation for the uh, International Falls Dairy Queen new restaurant license. Chair would entertain a motion to approve those, the agenda with those two additions. I'll move. We have a motion by Councillor Fuller. Second. second. Okay, let's do it the other way. Uh, by Councillor Wegner, second by <laughs> Councillor Buller. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 And I'll vote yes. Motion carries. Go to the approval <clears throat> of minutes from March 18th, 2024. Chair would entertain a motion to approve those. I'll make that motion. We have a motion by Councillor Holden. Do we have a second? I'll move. Second by Councillor Kaler. Discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 And I'll vote yes. Motion carries. 5-0. Go to the... Resolution for transfers, payments, and claims and accounts payable. We have International Falls transfers going to the 101 General Fund of $386.07. That's coming from the 812 Lodging Tax Fund. Going to accounts payable and claims, International Falls regular claims of $596,926.73. Airport Commission claims of $43,198.40. And airport major capital projects of $152,871.44 for a total accounts payable and claims of $792,996.57. Chair would entertain a motion to approve the payments and claims. I'll move. We have a motion by Councillor Kaler. Second. Second by Councillor Buller. Discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes, motion carries. Go to <coughs> audience, anyone in the audience have anything to bring forward? Hearing none, we'll have an opportunity again later. We'll go to new business, adopt resolution uh, for fiscal year 2025 air service marketing grant agreement for the state project. Chair would entertain a motion to approve that. I'll move. We have a motion by Councillor Buller. Second. Second by Councillor Wegner. Discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. 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 And I'll vote yes, motion carries, 5-0. Go to acknowledge a letter request from Rainy Lake Medical Center and authorize engineering and design of relocating utilities for the expansion contingent upon Rainy Lake Medical Center receiving funding. Chair would entertain a motion to approve that. I'll make that motion. We have a motion by Councillor Holden. Do we have a second? No, second. Second by Councillor Wagner. Discussion? Call the question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes. Motion carries. Authorize advertising for casual paramedics to fill the vacant positions. Chair would entertain a motion to approve that. Double. We have a motion by Councillor Buller. We have a second. All second. Second by Councillor Kaler. Discussion. Just that yeah. I'm looking at we have a couple full timers off on leave, Adam. We'll three. 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 Okay. And and these uh, this is I just thought a good time to bring up again. Uh, we should take opportunity to look at staffing or models that looking down the future and hopefully we can keep the ambulance uh, up and running mm -hmm. you have some uh, staffing was uh, the models was the same thing as councilor Taylor. yeah okay any other discussion <clears throat> hearing none call the question aye 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 and i'll vote yes motion carries five zero 
Next we have a, a late uh, arriver. Um, it's a resolution authorizing execution of the Minnesota Department of Transportation Airport Grant for excluding land acquisition. Chair would entertain a motion to approve that. I'll make that motion. Motion by Councilor Holden. Do we have a second? No second. Second by Councilor Buller. Discussion? Do we, what seeing is it's an addition, do we know what the grant, this grant's for or what we're going to yep. do with it? Go ahead, Walt, if you want. What's that? <clears throat> I'm just wondering what the grant. Was for the or the front, is this for the front end loader? It was for a piece of equipment, yes. Yeah. A mower. Mm -hmm. A mower, okay. Yeah. Which is eighteen nine. Yeah. So that eighteen nine would be split between yeah. the city and county. It's nine thousand uh, for the city around there. Yep. Yeah, right. All right. I just want to run over. Okay. Any other questions? Hearing none. Call the question. Aye. 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 And all vote yes. Motion carries five zero. Next, land use and legislation committee recommendation uh, to approve the license for Smoke and Fire DBA International Falls Dairy Queen restaurant license. Chair would entertain a motion to approve that. I'll move. We have a motion by Councillor Kaler. We have a second. Second. We have a second by Councillor Wagner. Discussion. Just I wouldn't dare not having a place to bring the dog for blizzards in the summer, so we. <laughs> We got to give him a license. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you have my vote. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried. So they say no. All right, we have a motion and a second. Call the question. Aye. 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 And I'll vote yes. Motion carries 5 0. Any other business come before the council? Hearing none, we'll go to boards, committees, department heads, city administrator. Um, Mayor, I have nothing additional to Thank you. City attorney. I have nothing additional. Department heads. Please, Ted. I know I always bring you depressing and exciting stuff, kind of one and the same, but uh, I just wanted to commend Lisa and her staff on the water side and uh, the employees out at the water shop. Uh, annually, I have to do a water conservation report with the DNR. And the state standard is 10% or less for unaccounted water loss. Um, in 2016, our unaccounted water loss was terrible. Um, since then, we've teetered around 10%. Um, but Friday, I got very good news that we're below 8%, which is huge. And it, it comes down to putting the right things in place to be able to track people hooking hydrants, um, putting meters where there should be meters and I just want to commend staff for helping us get that down because the bottom line that mm -hmm. helps and it makes a big deal so uh, I have a question is that for 2023 yes mm -hmm. and so that huge water loss that's still accounted for the one that we had this uh, this last winter remember we had a big yep 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 so we're able to put a number on that yeah that's and that's what I meant. Yep, yep yep absolutely so and that's that's one of the things we did right so if we you know we average 12 to 18 water breaks a year yeah okay at the end of the year we would say okay we had 18 breaks we're gonna put this many gallons onto it mm -hmm. staff actually has a sheet now and we have an app where we can say how big the hole is what the pressure is and how long we figure it leaks we can put a number on that that's great and once you know, and when you could put that number on there, um, it makes a big difference. So I uh, tip my hat to all staff involved, and I appreciate it. So uh. thank you. All right. Uh, reports to the mayor, council, committees, boards, and commissions. Uh, well, we had a airport steering committee meeting a couple weeks ago. Councilor Kaler and myself. Uh, Betty, Adam Coe, and two of the county commissioners. That was the first of those. Got into some of the issues we've been talking about uh, through the joint powers agreement and uh, 
uh, the land. What am I missing here? Uh, land use? No. The annexation. Annexation. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Annexation of the land. We, we talked about some of that stuff there and then a few other things to do with the airport. Um, just out of curiosity, if if we're discussing the <clears throat> uh, the airport commission and the bylaws and all of that stuff, is there any uh, conversation about having the city no longer be the fiscal agent for the airport? We did touch a little bit on that. I think Betty at the and now that's steering <coughs> committee. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Not commission. No, that's I understand. Two different things. Yep, I understand. Um, but that's what the steering commission is doing is trying to come up with recommendations for for the other committee yeah. correct we didn't get any we didn't get to that part okay that. fair enough yeah it's on some that. of the things you talked about and you gave a report to us on too was that yep. the uh, uh, looking out for different like sources of revenue that we could update maybe contracts update stuff to, to mm -hmm. fit now versus you know 20 years ago so okay. yeah that that take a look at it anyway and a little discussion like we've said the difference between needing and wanting and all who decides we're looking at that <coughs> they're the commission's gonna and we're gonna so. yeah yeah perfect. So. Perfect. yeah we took a few things to the commission from that from that meeting uh, I brought up to Blake Walt said the contract review budgets um, how the budget should uh, reflect off of the county in the city rather than the city and the county reflects off the airport budget correct um, that kind of stuff so the Commission is working on that yet okay we've got another steering committee scheduled okay. for the end of this month uh, for Councilor Kaler and I where we will try to get back to annexation and the actual joint powers agreement excellent any <clears throat> questions for those two and we will be full at airport knowledge by the next by that time we too will. we're going to a airport class i guess we'll yeah. call it convention yeah that's uh, some knowledge 18th 19th of this month 23rd 24th okay i was close <laughs> <laughs> this oh, whatever i wouldn't have been over there on the 18th so i don't know i think so <coughs> All right. A any other boards and commissions? I'd just like to, if we can, we all got our yellow notices today or this past week. If we can put a little message on our website, maybe get some publicity, some information out about this is the time to talk about your land values, not when your tax statement comes out in November. Absolutely. If we could. Please. With that, um, I did see the notice on the valuation, and they have their open book meeting. I believe it's May 17th, mm -hmm. and I will have that on our next city council agenda as a public information piece with the date and the time and all of that as well. So, Mayor, at that meeting, you can highlight it again that okay. you know that is the date and time that people can yeah. go talk to the assessor's office in regards to their valuation of their property. Okay. Correct. Perfect anything else all right we'll go to audience anybody in the audience have anything to bring forward all right correspondence uh, in your packets there is a uh, international falls kuching county airport commission meetings from minutes from uh, february 28th kuching county board of commissioner meeting minutes from march 12th 2024 uh, just a note, next week we will not be having our Committee of the Whole meeting. We're going to move that to the 29th. Uh, it sounded like there was going to be a, a majority of us going to be missing that one. So uh, we're going to move that to the end of the month. Our next regular uh, City Council meeting is Monday, April 15th at 2024, 530. Thank you. Mike? Yep.